Well, what's up, folks? It's the morning of uh, champion championship day at the Crappie Masters Kentucky Lake 2021. And um, hey, we're, we're happy you joined us. Uh, me and Marcus are currently in second place with a small field this year. But I'll tell you, we're excited. We're playing up against, we're, we're fishing up against some of the, the best in the uh, in the business. And uh, we're going to do what we've been doing. So Marcus is filling up the live well here. Check it out. Cool. It's a combination of a G juice, some ice, um, that'll get us through the day, and a big massive lifetime cooler from Walmart. So that's how we keep the fish nice and uh, healthy. So thanks for joining, I appreciate it. Subscribe, and uh, we're about to put some ton of fish in the boat and uh, give, it our, give it our all. So thanks again, here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Just like Darbone, I'm going to show you the, the first fish of the day, the target. Hopefully it's a, it's a worthy target. We think it is. Here it is. See the guy right there? Let's see if I can make him right there. We're obviously staying way away from him. We ended the day yesterday on these piles and they were just as good as our best spot in the other section of the cove and so we're going to start here and then move out we're hoping that we can do well here about seven fish very quickly and then uh, move to outside of the cove well folks we're about to start the tournament we always have a routine that me and marcus do we are set we are ready we're going to put everything we have into it and let me tell you something there's a lot of passion that goes into this crappie fishing and you're going to see it in this episode That's right, folks. We're passionate about it. That's later in the episode, so stick with it. It's a long episode. We're going to take you all the way to the end, and we're going to put a ton of fish in the boat. I'm not the best net man. <laughs> Did you see me? <laughs> it is rock. <laughs> I'm not. It's not the first time. It's not the first time. <laughs> Yesterday I, I missed the net, I hit his rod, and then I missed the fish. <laughs> I'm gonna weigh that one up. There was there was two of them down there. And uh, yesterday morning it was it was hot. That's a good thing. Okay, this isn't the fastest morning we've had all week. I'll tell you, it's taken us a little while to get to our seven fish, and we're not even there yet at this point. But those misses are very critical because that was a big fish. And after looking at the footage, it's clear that you know our location of our net needs to be moved closer. And we actually fixed that problem later in this episode. You'll see that we will actually start positioning the, the uh, net right between me and Marcus to kind of eliminate the time that it takes to grab the net. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting when you're both fishing, um, there is going to be a little bit of a lag between getting the net, but I think positioning it between it was really a good solution. We figured that out probably about two hours after this point, that that's what we needed to do.
<laughs> oh baby. Deeper anyway? Maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be close. You know there's about there's three uh there's two, three stick ups here and there's about a school of about five or six fish. They're not the biggest fish, but they're probably keeper fish. Um, and there's some big ones floating around, so the first time really we've seen a pot of them. They're, I mean, they're, they're kind of hanging close together. Um. So anyway, it, it comes time for the camera boat to leave. And I'll be honest with you folks, you know, at this point, we're not near the number that we were at the day before. We just missed the fish. And uh, having a camera boat there has just added anxiety that um, I was glad to kind of get rid of. I mean, sorry, Blake, and we love you guys. But I'll tell you, we needed to put our nose down and grind this thing out and we knew the only way to do that was going to be to fish 110 percent without having to talk without having to do anything consider anything else so um we loved it had a great experience but uh we're going to put our nose to the ground right now we're going to grind this thing out and we're going to fish hard and we have some super passion that gets ex uh, exploded on this this episode as you're about to see and um having a great time but at the same time giving 110 percent Seven fish! Yay! They're all small so far. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. So the great Nick Saban said that passion always looks like aggression to the unmotivated. And we certainly are not the unmotivated. This is 110% passion, putting your heart into something. And when, let me tell you, when you don't get the fish, that's the second one. You're going to let it be known. Um, it's a way for calming nerves, but it also identified clearly that the net needed to be closer because that was another big oh, miss. We getting our fish so early. We missed the catch, but we, we got it. Yeah, baby! That was work, man. Awesome job. I'm directing him. That's right. I'm directing and he's putting it on him. That fish was stubborn, man. Moved, 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 moved like three times before we got it in the right location. Gosh dang. Yes, sir. Now, without a doubt, through those misses, Marcus has been the rock, man. He is like totally keeping us together. Teamwork. Um, and uh, upbeat. We're so used to getting our fish quick on tournaments that the fact that we had to wait uh, till about noon to get really decent, start getting decent fish was kind of nerve wracking, especially in the position that we were for the tournament. So that was something new to us. And um, at the end of the day, he was solid rock. I mean, without a doubt, we put some big fish in the boat. We started really feeling comfortable at this moment and determined that we might be able to maintain at least the same number that we got the day before. Got him, big fish, big fish. That's an upgrade for sure. Midday update, we've got about, I don't know, two and a half hours left, two hours left. Um, 
you know, it's kind of been a struggle. That's why we're not we're not talking much to the cameras because uh, we're having to really grind for it. Um, it's just the nature of the business, I guess. Yeah. I've had three misses, two of which have were fully hooked, and one up to the surface. But that's that's fishing. It's no big deal. But um, those fish right now could could be a big difference. So we're trying to get to where we need so we're not talking as much but gumdrop on Kentucky Lake is on fire if you want to check them out check them out on my website threepoundfishing.com um, it's been really the go-to hair jig the carrots been doing fantastic too uh, so you can check that one out but gumdrop seems to be uh, a Kentucky Lake favorite But we're just pushing hard, really hard. We need about, we need at least two more good fish, one, 1 1.3s. And uh, to probably get us back to where we were yesterday. It's always a hard, you know, hard deal to, to get back to where you were the day before, weight wise. That's always the goal to beat that weight. I like the fish are here. That's the thing. We're just, uh, oh, we've missed three of them. So we're done, and uh, we're going to call out our fish, make sure we got the right seven, and see how we do. I have to get me the bucket. Bucket boy. How do you think we did, Marcus? Our best. Ooh, that's a great answer. I'm gonna say we're gonna hold on to number two. <laughs> hold on, let's see something. Well, the fish number are in the one, bucket, folks, one. and uh, we did as hard as we can we can do. We did 110% all week, worked hard, put our time in, and you know where the chips fall is where they, they fall. I mean, we're going up against some great competitors, so. Stay tuned here. We're going to be up on the stage here shortly, but uh, we did as good as we could possibly do, and we felt good about that. And that's always the goal. It's the walk away saying, hey, man, we did everything we could do. So here we go. Six. I was just going to say, every boat has to go through my code to get to the lake, apparently. That is done. We will have somebody take their place in the marine hot season right here in my right. And they will stay there until someone in that top ten. Alright, here we go. Alright, after day number one, we had two teams on day number one that got into the double digits. This is one of them. The top two did. They have seven fish. Now, being that the weight to take the lead goes down, they need just 897 to do so. They represent Ozark Rods, Three Pound Fishings, Matt Maviano and Marcus Gerritsen. 897 guys, did you get there? Ooh, this is gonna be close. 897, 897, yeah, they got there. 958, there you go. Their two day wait, 1988. Matt Maviano, Marcus Gerritsen in the house and in the lead. You guys got a big one? Get some, hold them up for us real quick. <laughs> uh -huh. He who grabs the fish first usually grabs the two biggest. <laughs> That's the really, he did not. There you go. All right, guys. Man, there you go. Come out here, Kentucky Lake. Probably haven't fished this lake before, have you? Or have you had a chance to? We, we had a chance to. Let me turn it out. Oh, there we go. We had a chance to fish it last year in a tournament, and so kind of familiar with the northern part a little bit. Uh, we tried that the initial day that we got here, and uh, we moved south immediately. We went, right. we went down to the south part of the lake. So obviously, day number one, you get into the 10-pound club. Going into championship Saturday, you know you're right there to win a tournament. Did that start to play in your mind overnight? Where you think? I think you told me you had the best night's sleep you ever had. I, absolutely. <laughs> At last night, I did sleep very well. Um, 
you know, we've had fun all week. We've worked extremely hard. Um, we're just fishing, and we said we just kept repeating that we're just fishing, and we said that this morning probably about a thousand times. So, um, but we had a great time, and we caught fish basically in 12 foot of water. Um, I'm sorry, 12 foot deep. Yeah. Um, basically, all on stake beds. There were some stick ups that we we found that in a bird song that we thought were uh, pretty hot for us. Right. Um, we did actually catch some fish in five foot of water, um, but we worked hard and. Marcus was uh, dead on with the uh, the tickle fry from Jinko today, without a doubt. Uh, he was the rock. Uh, we had, we lost some key fish, right? And uh, he kept it together. He kept the team together, and uh, that's why we're here right now. Did you guys have a lot of company around, or did you have that area kind of be yourself? We we had that cove pretty much to ourselves uh, the last two days. I mean, other than the pleasure boaters today, that was kind of a big surprise to us. Um, but yeah, we had it pretty much by ourselves. What would it mean to win this tournament to you? Everything. I mean, it, it's our passion. It's every. I mean, it's everything to us. So we would be very pleased, obviously. Absolutely. Who would you like to thank? Um, we have some wonderful sponsors. I thank them uh, weekly on my YouTube channel, Three Pound Fishing. Yep. Check um, that out, folks. But uh, Ozark Rods, uh, they support us. We believe in them. They believe in us. And uh, they've got some great products, so check them out. Absolutely. Anybody else? Uh, I want to thank my wife. Uh, she understands the passion for crappie fishing. And Marcus? Marcus, your turn. I want to say congratulations to my niece, Brooke, on her graduation. Uh, yeah, there I'm, you go. I'm so excited about this. That's, that's all I got to say. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to give you an option here. How about that? You all can go right here to the Millennium Marine Hot Seats. Austin Brothers, give him a hand. Great job. You can stand right here and watch, or you can watch from down there. Which one? There you go, <laughs> get in that Millennium Marine hot seat. All right, and then there was one, down to one. I'm gonna tell you just in a minute how much you need to win $10,000 and the Kentucky Lake National Qualifier Championship. Y'all ready to crown a champion right now? There you go, come on, get loud out there. Let everybody across America know. You all are ready out there watching, I know, okay. Day number one, this team had 1119. They know the lake. Local guys, they fish us a little bit. They need 870. 870 has to pop up on there and right here to win this championship and a minimum of $10,000. Again, your key number is 870. They have seven fish. Welcome your leaders yesterday, Chase Petty and Matt Dreska. All right, man, 870, 870 is what I need to see. Do they win it? 870, 870. Do they get there? Yeah, they did! 10, 23, Crappie Masters Championship Saturday. That's how you do it. That's how you win a championship. Great job, guys. Total weight, 2142. Wow. Bam. You got happy people out there. <laughs> you got good? Well, folks, we got second place at the Crappie Masters Kentucky Lake, and we couldn't be more excited. Um, I'll show you some footage of the of the weigh-in, um, but it was a tough day, and uh, but it, it, we worked our tails off. Sure did. So uh, that's what we always do. That's what, that's what we always do. We work hard. So we appreciate uh, all the support, and uh, please subscribe. Uh, we'll show the leaderboard here, but again, I appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry when Steve Coleman stops by, you gotta stop the video and say hi. Yeah, great guys and uh, a great field and we're exhausted but excited. <laughs> it's unbelievable how we feel. So we finally got some trophies with some fish on it. That's cool. I mean, come on, that doesn't get any better than that. So, great time. Anything else? Three pound fishing, baby. Three pound fishing. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.